Good morning, collective. We're gonna do a quick energy check, see what your ancestors, the universe, the divine want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. I've already called in the appropriate protection. This is a timeless reading. It's whenever it finds you. We're gonna jump right into this guy. You are whole. Love grows in you. He's a positive affirmation. I am radiant. Some of you guys need to start opening up your platforms, whether it's on Twitter, IG, Facebook, YouTube. Whoever said get creative. A lot of you guys may be seeing owls like owls. need to create a to-do list. a lot of you guys if you're not in this energy of speaking positivity into your life spirit wants you guys to start doing that start saying I am whole I am creative I am radiant Start tapping into your hidden powers. A lot of you guys, I heard, what I just heard in my head is that a lot of you guys are great organizers. Maybe some of you guys are supposed to be like creating platforms, showing people how to organize, men, um, make the most of their space. I, that's for somebody out there. A lot of you guys came out of a heart heartache and loss and you guys started going to like the ocean getting your bodies of water getting messages from spirit see that person sitting there and you started asking for direction choose wisely I feel like a lot of you guys went through some kind of changes. Whatever this was that you went through, this heartache and loss, this emotional loss, it got you guys, that energy went out to the universe. And you guys went through some kind of change. 
whatever that change was, it made you guys get connected with spirit, clear your energy, and heal your heart chakra. Love grows within you. Whoever I'm speaking to, there's a lot of green. You started manifesting peace and harmony. Yeah. Solar plexus. Some of you guys need to cleanse your solar plexus. Wisdom. Whatever this was that you guys went through, it helped you guys see something within yourself. You gained some kind of wisdom. There's a lot of, look, five, five. There were some changes here. talk about having a higher perspective. I was a very, very spiritual animal. Some of you guys need to cleanse your solar plexus. opening up your platform or get a different creative ideas sacred plan create a sacred plan create that to-do list guys yeah learning experience there was a learning experience through this Whatever this was that you went through, it was a learning experience. It made you wiser. It made you guys tap into your, your intuition, your spiritual side, get connected, heal this emotional loss that you felt. Some of you guys need to heal so that you can move forward on this, this, this path. Spirit said love grows within you. You're radiant. You are whole. Vulnerability and freedom. Yes. A lot of you guys were vulnerable. Whatever this was, it made you vulnerable, but that made you open up also. That vulnerability allowed you to see what it was that was blocking you from moving forward here. up on this journey guys don't be so hard on yourself what you know it's to help us learn and grow <laughs> ah! <laughs> sorry collective <laughs> whatever these learning experiences are when when you see yourself getting in creating projects Tapping into your power, your creativity. If something doesn't work, it's okay to go back, revisit it, replan it. Create another to-do list. 
that's how you learn what works and what doesn't work. It's okay. Spirit never wants us to be hard on ourselves. They want us to acknowledge the mistakes, where we fucked up at, what we could have done better, and learn from these experiences. Learn. Grow. When you see something's not working, go another route. Yeah, learn. Page. Page of Pentacles is learning. It's all about learning something new. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are. Love grows within this person. Our whole spirit said this heartache and loss this emotional loss may have brought you to feeling like you're not whole you're not creative you're not radiant and spirit saying no look at yourself through the eyes of an owl gain that wisdom shine that light on you that's your book you see that book right there he got that's his creativity that's his to-do list don't, 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 don't let yourself feel like that. Yeah. This is your gift from the divine. Spirit said you are the gift. This is your pentacle. Create it. Master it. Go back to the drawing board. Archangel Razel helps with, um, Channeling your gifts and talents. Call on Archangel Razel. Yeah, look, the sun card is the most happiest card in the whole tarot deck. It's gonna bring you happiness. Yeah, look, another one, Page of Swords. Getting truth and clarity, learning something, studying. I want to so spirit is telling me to pull this card. He's, what is it? What is this thing? I want to try to see if I can get some information on what this is. It's gonna be different for everybody. Everybody's not doing the same creative project. For some of you guys, it's you showing people how to overcome heartache and loss, how to heal your heart chakra when you're feeling emotional loss so that that negative energy is not what's being transmuted, is not what's being sent out to the universe so that, because we all know that when we're thinking and what we're feeling is what manifests in our reality. So if you're feeling heartache and loss, that's what you're going to manifest. You're going to teach people how to. What direction to move forward to. You're going to show them the learning experience. You're going to, some of you guys are going to help people learn how to create a to-do list. To find out what it is that they're here to do. Some of you guys. Like I said. I heard it clears day. Somebody's an organizer here. They're really freaking good at making the most out of a little space. Some of you guys are going to teach people how to be vulnerable and free themselves. How to manifest happiness. Happiness. Look, ships. Wait for your ships to sell this. Spirit said it's okay. You don't have to rush these ships to come in. Balance the masculine and feminine within yourself, male, female. Learn lessons and blessings. Lessons and blessings. This is how you get your blessings. You learn.
some of you guys how to how to love themselves how to release themselves from other people's persecution learning right here. Page of Swords, Page of um, Pentacles. Learning. Getting clarity, clearing your mind. Creating a sacred plan, a to-do list. Seeing things from a higher perspective, gaining wisdom on these lessons that you're learning. Forgiveness. Learning how to forgive other people for what they've put you through, what they've said about you, how they've made you feel. Whoever said you're whoever I'm speaking to, this person has a lot of love within themselves. This person loves themselves, and this person has a lot of love, abundance. This is how you manifest abundance. The highest frequency in this whole universe is love. When you heal that heart, then you manifest abundance. what is and discipline your mind your mind body and soul I am in the process of positive change continue to say the affirmation guys is only learning I move with confidence and resilience what are we talking about here what are we talking about learning through these lessons I am magnetic to what I want I repel what I do not want so if you do not want to manifest any more emotional loss heartache and loss if you don't want to manifest more lessons more failures then learn through these lessons. You are on the right path. Trust it. Trust it. There's no time. There's no race here to this journey, guys. Please do not do that to yourself. Please. There's no race here. You're, there's no finish line. Who's going to get there first? That's not how this works. I am loved beyond measures. What are we talking about, guys? Come on. I'm liberating myself from fear, judgment, and doubt. That's another affirmation you guys could be saying to yourself. I let go, release. I am within perfect possibility. There's so many possibilities here for you. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button if you like the information that I'm bringing to you. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, also, click that all bells button so that you are notified once I am uploading a video. Okay, guys? 
I will not remain stuck. I choose change. Be the change you want to see. Don't wait for the change to happen. Make the change. Take that, take that start. Spirit said, yes. It's, it's okay to be vulnerable and free. Yes, this is how you learn these lessons. Yes. Yes, don't be hard on yourself. Accept things for what it is. I'm learning to accept that things that accept the things I cannot change and discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. It's all about willpower. And it's that I was talking to my friend about that. I feel like this journey has has gained has made me really really um strong in that area in like my willpower oh what is this what is this what's going on here numbers zero nine zero nine guys you know what nine talks about near and journey Angel number 0909 brings a message from your angels that the universal source fully supports your soul mission. The most important message of angel number 0909 is to listen to your intuition as your angels are constantly with you. And you can turn to them for divine guidance support whenever you feel the need. Trust. You are loved. You are whole. Love grows within you, Spirit said. I accept and create more flow and pleasure in my life. Some of you guys are earth angels. This is what I got for you guys. Love and light.